Okay, how y'all doing, brothers and sisters? This is another uh, spiritual ventilation. You know, this is uh, basically a think tank. Me just uh, being connected to the Most High. And uh, it's like a spiritual frequency, and sometimes things just come to me. So, you know, what I say is just thought, food for thought. It's not nothing factual I could be factual it's just something that I feel like that I'm spiritually in tune with and I feel like I need to talk about okay um, we're gonna talk about today we're gonna talk about reparation why do a lot of people say they want reparation reparation for what I mean for what God said that we would go through as a people you think we should get reparation for it? I feel like it'll take away the significance of our history. I mean, all the trials and tribulations that we have been through as, as a people, and you mean to tell me that you you all want to get paid for it? I mean, that don't make no sense. I don't want no reparation. You know, if anything, give me give me reparation for the, um, the mental slavery of telling me Jesus is white. You know, that's um, that's mental abuse to me, my children, and my children's children. With that being said, reparation is just the way for them to water down our history. And if we do take that reparation, first thing that they gonna say is, "Well, you got paid for it, so you can't you can't even bring it up again. You can't you can't you can't." You can't use that against us because we paid you for it. So, my opinion on that matter is that I feel like we as a people, we don't need reparation. Okay. And uh, my next topic is, I'm going to talk about Pharaoh. All these guys worshiping Pharaoh. You know, they have... Uh, the Egyptian shirts on and they think Pharaoh was our people but do you think the Israelites do you think they need reparation for the slavery the free slavery that they did for Pharaoh through his whole dynasty of them building the pyramids you know this is my take on the matter and we're gonna go back to uh <coughs> Spiritual, spiritual warfare. Um, and this is just a thought. This is just food for thought. That's all it is, is food for thought. Have you have a thought that, uh, well, let me talk about my previous video when I talked about UFO sightings. If you go back and look at that video and then look at this one. And this is just food for thought. This disease, this agenda, as far as UFOs, if you look at the Bible, it says the Israelites was a powerful people. They were, um, they worshiped Yahshua. That was their God. And then you have much of culturalism, which been going on since. The Romans had their dynasty, and then it's going on in America. I mean, just look at California. Look at all the melting. Look at how the different races are mixing in California. Like, white people are almost extinct in California. And, uh, of course, it's slowly moving east. I mean, you can look at New York. New York's a, a major melting pot. Major cities are mel major melting pots. But as far as the South, this, this uh, what you call it, um, um, not a spiritual, but a, sort of like a simulation. It's not a simulation, it's um, much of culturalism. This much of culturalism is really just now going on in the South, you know, the Babel Belt. So we are the last descendants of the slaves. So what we seeing, what what the descendants of the slaves are seeing, is what is what 
has always been going on in the world. So I'm going to get back to Pharaoh and his Egyptology and him not believing in God and him saying that everything is what it is. You know, if you're, you know, you're toxic, you're, you don't supposed to be around toxic people, but this is a spiritual thing. I mean, you got to look at it spiritually. We, we're not talking about science, sociology, and psychology. We're talking about spiritual. Spirituality. <laughs> but anyway, uh, have you guys ever thought about what made the Egyptians, which had this higher power, take the Israelites into captivity and put them in slavery. And I thought about this for a long time. The Egyptians, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, was planted with this agenda, whether if they was uh, mixed with a higher power, a demonic power, and they feel like they had to put the Israelites in, sla in slavery because they were beneath them. Now, it takes, it says in the Bible that you can have slaves, and I understand that, but it takes a person that's not spiritual to put another race in captivity and, and make them slaves. You know, because if you really, of what God's about, about, you wouldn't put your fellow brother in slavery. Now, we're going to talk about this much word, much more culturalism, this term. How do we know, now this is, I'm reaching kind of far, how do we know that these Egyptians wasn't mixed with uh, aliens? And I don't mean like little green men, I'm talking about people with a higher knowledge, you know, with science. And, 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 and it's, it's well documented that, you know, Kemet and all that, we, you know, they study chemistry. That's where the word Kemet, the roots from, chemistry. And we know as a people that we knew math and things like that, but this high knowledge that we got as a people, where did it come from? Like cell phones, uh, you know, Flying objects like airplanes, you know, where did all this knowledge, where did all this technology come from? See, the Egyptians felt like they was a higher race than the Israelites. But where did they get this knowledge from? So that's why they took Yahshua's name and made their own God and they still worshiping Yah. Not Yah, excuse me. They still worshiping Ra. So, first of all, they let me know they cut your bandits. So, even today, hip hop is being stolen from us. Everything that we know, our whole culture is being taken from us. Because I think these people can't even live. We have to teach them how to be civilized. We teach them how to dress. We teach them how to act. We teach them, I mean, they, st they steal our whole swag. So, my theory on this matter is, maybe these, uh, Un unidentified flying objects. If you want to call them green, man, you know, that's for you to decide. But maybe they looked down on us and said, hey, look at these people. You know, their woman, their woman is very beautiful. And uh, how do we know that they didn't have a homosexual agenda then? Because they seen two people having sex. And they didn't know it was two different Two different, um, two different, uh, um, what's that word? Two different, um, not races, but genders. See, they seen two people mating, but from them looking down on us, they didn't, they, they looked at it, it was like, okay, everybody can mate together. So they didn't really understand how God created us. So what they did was maybe they looked at each other and was attracted to each other as far as males and males. 
I mean, I don't know if they, they had females, uh, female aliens. And I'm reaching, I'm reaching. But with this Pharaoh, he reigned, they, they dynasty, the Egyptian dynasty was a vast dynasty. And if you go to Egypt, you see all these vast pyramids. I mean, these pyramids trump any building that we got in America. Just think about it. I mean, it trumps the um, Statue of Liberty. So if you don't believe in God, I don't understand that because that's a miracle in itself. You know, everybody got these theories how the pyramids was built, but these Egyptians did have a higher, a higher technology. They was higher beings. But they were black people. But through much of culturalism, of course, through their dynasty, they got more fair skin and fair skin with this uh, agenda. And that's deep. That's deep. This is just food for thought. You know, what I say is not uh, factual. You just have to uh, do your own research on this. So with that being said, uh, I think this seed has been planted in people for so long. And, uh, you know, uh, with Pharaoh, they're, they're, they're just dismissing everything that God said in the Bible, you know, and it's crazy, man. You just really have to, you know, lock in on your spirituality and, and have some type of uh, moral integrity, you know, and know that it's evil and good. You have to know these things. And, uh, you know, I have a, I have a cousin that he's into Egyptology and, you know, he's just so bent on saying that God's not real and, and there's something about this, this Egyptian spirit that makes people try to debunk anything that God said. Anything with the Bible. You know, anybody that, that's really into Egyptology and worshiping Egypt and, and, and everything that they got as far as uh, the pyramids and I mean, if you look, all that stuff's on a dollar. All that stuff's on a dollar. So, to me, it's all demonic. You know, how you gonna take Yahshua's name, which the uh, Israelites worship Yah, and then it, the, uh, now the Israelites worship Yah, and then here come the Egyptians right behind them worshiping Ra, which is the sun god. Now, I believe the sun is, 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 is great for everybody, but I'm not going to worship the sun. God's everything, you know, and uh, I don't know. It's just all food for thought. It's just food for thought, man. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I had to share it with my brothers and sisters. Um, if you disagree, if you have any comments, please comment at the bottom. Enlighten me. But I've seen a lot of things. And uh, I've experienced a lot of things. And at this point in my life, I just want to, uh, you know, share my knowledge and share my experiences with my brothers and sisters and just to see where I'm at. You know, true righteousness. We're looking at it. All right, y'all have a blessed day.